Typical accounting practices involve two methods of recording revenues and expenses. The first method is the cash basis of accounting. Here, revenues are recorded when cash is received by the business and expenses are recorded when cash is paid. The accrual basis of accounting, on the other hand, recalls revenues only when they are earned and expenses when they are incurred. Under the accrual basis of accounting, adjusting journal entries are made in order to ensure that the entity's revenues and expenses are properly recorded in adherence to the matching and revenue recognition principles. Because of the misalignment in timing, cash is never affected in adjusting journal entries. There are four scenarios that illustrate the necessity of adjusting entries. The first is known as deferred revenue. This occurs when cash is received before the firm's revenue has been earned. Suppose John the lawyer is prepaid $10,000 on the 1st of March for work to be completed in April. Since he has not yet provided the service he has been paid for, the $10,000 cannot be recorded as a revenue, but is rather recorded as a liability for the month of March. John would record on the 1st of March, debit cash, credit, unearned revenue. Then, once John has performed his service, the general entry for the month ending April would be adjusted, debiting unearned revenue and crediting service revenue. The next scenario illustrating adjusting entries is that of accrued revenue. This is simply when cash is received by the entity after the revenue has been earned. Suppose that a business photographs a wedding on the 20th of January for a $500 fee and bills its customer on the 25th of the month and receives payment on the 5th of February. Thus, the firm would record its $500 revenue at the end of the month by debiting accounts receivable and crediting service revenue. It would adjust this entry at the end of the next period after the payment has been received by debiting cash and crediting accounts receivable. A deferred expense is when cash is paid before the expense is incurred. The most common example of this is prepaid rent. Suppose Mary prepays six months of rent in January for $24,000. The journal would record in January, debit prepaid rent, credit cash. In February, after one month's rent has been paid, it would debit rent expense of $4,000 and credit prepaid rent. The final scenario involves accrued expense, where cash is paid after the expense is incurred. Consider a business that incurs $800 of water expense for the month of April, but does not pay this bill until May. The journal would record debit water expense, credit accounts payable. Then after the bill has been paid, it would debit accounts payable and credit cash.